Don't mislead the people to gain political points, and that's exactly what you have done. The Portmore City Municipal Council has started this partnership to develop the climate change park with the city of Argen and the money that was talked about, we did not receive the money. Received 14 million dollars from the 14 million 31 from the city of Argen. So it was woefully short of whatever that they were they promised to us. And the Jamaican government was supposed to um, also give 50% of the money. We have just received $25,498,000 from them. Mm -hmm. So there is no way the park could have finished under that disbursement that we have received. We have done several things within the park. And the, the total figure that we have received from both the Germans and the government. We have spent it and all is documented. We have spent over $42 million in the design process, the landscaping, the dumping of the topsoil, the irrigation, the well, the lagoon, and a host of other things. So when MP Miller goes to Parliament, and ask about Climate Change Park. Obviously, he did not have a plan for his constituency, and that's the reason why he opted on the bandwagon to speak about the Climate Change Park. We are not afraid to discuss it. The Urban Development Corporation have spent over $1 billion to develop a similar park in Montego Bay. The same 15 acres and we were looking to spend $176 million to develop the park because a climate change park more than plants and trees and dragon trails and things like that. That is what we were expecting to do. But because of the lack of funding that coming from both entities, we did not able to complete the park. We are having discussion now with the Urban Development Corporation in regard to the Climate Change Park and going forward. What the Member of Parliament need to do is to tell the people of South East and Catherine what he have done with his CDA funding that he have received and also the mitigation money in regard to dream cleaning because we are in the peak of the hurricane season. He need to outline all what he have done for his constituency since he get elected over one year and I think about 28 days, somewhere there. Right? That's what he need to do. I am willing and ready to work with the member of parliament. But it seems like he on a different path. I welcome him at any time to come to the municipal cooperation to have any discussion with me in regard to the way forward to make Portmore a better place for all of us. And that is what the people of Portmore elect us to do. The original concept um, in regard to the climate change is still on the books. We are having a, a, a series of meetings that is planned with the UDC and also the resident of Portmore because one of the things that UDC is proposing instead of 15 acres we develop close to 30 acres of land for the climate change park because the transport authority obviously withdraw the proposal to have the, the transportation center and the other 15 acres it is really sad but they have done it so the UDC want to develop all that area into a, con, um, clim, into a park. Um, the Germans is looking forward for the continuation. We are going to have a meeting with our partners, which is the German, to make certain that whatever that is being put forward, it is within their plan and the plan that was there before. So we, we from the Portmore Municipal Council, standpoint where I not shall thin 
the climate change for, for Portmore. Is it that the Germans have reneged on their original offer? Towards the development I, I, of the I wouldn't say that they reneged on the original offer. What really happened that they have a system or a policy within Germans that the money have to spend within a certain time. But one other thing that we face, if the government of Jamaica won't, was um, not giving that amount and they match it, they wouldn't be coming forward. And that's one other thing, but because the federal government at a certain time take back the money. So it is a case where our government based on what they had promised to match what the, the, the Germans was going to give to to you. They didn't come on time with their their money, so the, the Germans um, cancelled their arrangement. Right. The, 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 the money won't, won't food coming. Mm -hmm. And that is what happened to the climate change park. Mm -hmm. The first estimate that was done on the climate change park was for $66 million. And a review that take place was for $176 million. Mm. And out of that $176 million, we have gotten $14 million, call it $14 million from the German government and $25 million from the Jamaican government. So, you know, we were about um, less than 42, but because of us, the municipality, who have also come on board, bring it up to the $42 million. So, so I don't know where one. Robert Miller have gotten is one hundred and sixty million dollars from, mm. you know, rumors and trying to create problems within the municipality. That is what it, it is happening, and I am saying that, you know, we need to be adult. We need to look at the needs of Portmore. We need to present to the nation the correct thing and not the wrong thing. Don't mislead the people to gain political points and that's exactly what he have done. He has my number, he called me from time to time and we have discussion about several different things. If he need information, he could have called me. He did not call me, he did not write to the municipal corporation requesting any information at all, but he went to parliament to make that statement. And I think that the statement that he have made is quite really you know, and I hope that he will learn from his mistake and the way forward.